Thank you for staying with us. We we'll turn our attention now to Benue State, where the Nigerian Medical Association there is to commence a three-day warning strike from today, the 22nd of August, till Friday, the 25th. This is to press home their demands for the release of their colleague, Dr. Asema Msuga, who has been in the in captivity of kidnappers. The chairman of the association, Ushakuma Anenga, said this decision was reached during the association's state executive council meeting. Now, according to the association, doctors in the state will also embark on a warning strike on Thursday to demand the immediate release of uh, Dr. Mswega, uh, who was abducted on the 23rd of July this year on his way to supervise a state malaria initiative at the primary health care center in Ukum local government area of the state. Now, for more perspective on this uh, story, we have Chairman Nigeria Medical Association, Benue State Chapter, Dr. Ushakuma Anenga, joining me on the news. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Dr. Anenga, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Thank you very much for having me. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I am wondering why the decision of going on a warning strike. What was the level of engagement with government? Uh, were you not getting any sense of uh, responsibility from government to see to the release of your colleague? Why the strike? Well, thank you very much. Um, like you are all aware, it's been one month now since uh, Dr. Asma Soga was kidnapped. Uh, he was kidnapped in the line of duty on his way to supervise a malaria program. Now, uh, and ever since then, we've been engaging with government, we've been engaging with uh, security agencies, and it's been a month and he's still in captivity. So um, the State Executive Council uh, had met several times and given time for government and security agencies to act uh, but it has taken this long. Uh, we thought that uh, we need to put more pressure. Uh, we need to stand in solidarity with our member to ensure that he is immediately released. What was the response you were getting from government and security agencies? What did they say is the challenge? Well, uh, as it is with every kidnap case, uh, not too much details are given out. You know, government will tell you they are working on it. security agencies will keep telling you that they are working, but uh, we think that uh, uh, more pressure is uh, required to make uh, everyone, all stakeholders, to be on the right track and to make them feel the urgency that we feel. Because this is the second time that a doctor is being kidnapped in the last two to three months. So it's becoming a trend an ugly trend that we cannot uh, sit back and overlook. All stakeholders need to put their heads together to ensure that this young doctor comes out. You know, these are some of the push factors that lead to uh, brain drain, as it were. Uh, the sector where this doctor is working, in the last two to three years, we've had more than half of the doctors, uh, that's those doctors working in the, uh, you know, the government hospitals, general hospitals, they have left uh, that, that uh, sector, they've left the country. So uh, no, we're trying to reassure our members that uh, you know, they should stay and work for the people. We, we expect that all actors, uh, all stakeholders, including government and security agencies, to, to, uh, should feel the urgency that we feel. I'm wondering how far the association uh, is willing to go with regards to putting pressure on government. If after three days you do not get the kind of response you want from government as well as security agencies, what is the next step? Well, we, we're not just going on strike. We're meeting stakeholders. We're deepening our conversations. And we're also uh, ensuring that our efforts yield results. Uh, we don't anticipate that uh, these efforts will be fruitless. But uh, in case we don't yield the desired result, this is a three-day warning strike. Uh, we also give consideration to the poor masses, suffering masses of Benue State and allowed private practitioners to continue working so that the public will have uh, uh, where to go and access health care. But if this persists, uh, members are determined 
to go to any length. I won't preempt uh, the action that uh, the things that uh, you know the decisions that we're taking by the state executive council and uh, the general meetings that we we'll hold. First, members are determined to ensure that we get justice for Dr. Asuma at all costs. I'm glad you mentioned uh, the people of Ukum local government area of the state because uh, doctors have a commitment, uh, look at the Hippocratic Oath, a commitment to serve the people. But uh, as it is, it's, uh, it's a matter of between, being between the devil and the deep blue sea as it is. We can only hope for the best result at the end of the day for your association yes. and for the doctor in captivity. We'll have to leave the conversation yes. here. Dr. Ushakuma Anenga, who, Chairman, Nigeria Medical Association, Benue State Chapter. Thank you for your time on the news. Thank you very much. Right.